How is it everyone? Let's talk about Prehistoric Planet first episode. Um, there will be spoilers ahead, but I will try to reduce it. Alright, the first episode of Prehistoric Planet was released on May 23rd. It was an outrageous documentary film I have uh, ever seen. The CGI and photorealistic made it so real, and it all introduced by David Attenborough at the opening and narrated along the documentary. In the first episode, we saw new and familiar dinosaurs, sea and flying reptiles on their time. The first episode took place on the coast and the story is more talking about predators and babies. We saw a male Tyrannosaurus rex with his five broods swimming on a dangerous reef where there was the Mosasaurus on patrol. The young T-Rexes must learn to find their food by themselves on the beach where a giant turtle lays their eggs so the young T-Rexes can try fit on the hatchling. But the most surprising from the T-Rex is we all know that T-Rex was robust in shape but a study reveals that they able to swim well. There is a bonus video explained by um, Dr. Darren Nace, a lead scientific consultant, and said T-Rex are able to swim and not drowning because of their size. Um, there was evidence of floors uh, that marked with T-Rex too close means that uh, the way they swim is by using their legs to paddle. And we could learn it from modern animals such as um, elephants, horses, even emus birds that really heavy but able to swim really well. Um, I'm not going to talk much about it, I will save it for next video, probably next week. But now I'm just focusing on the documentary review. Um, the documentary also introduced probably familiar or unfamiliar pterosaur species. Uh, these are the pterosaurs I haven't heard before uh, since there are many of them. Uh, Teddy Draco are protecting their broods from um, Astarsid pterosaur. Um, it's called Phosphato Draco, a much larger pterosaur. Um, not far from them, uh, there are so Nyctosaurid pterosaurs, Ancioni. Alcyon, or whatever you call it, I think, I believe it's um, pronounced Alcyon, Lainus, uh, hatched and tries to survive to flying to the forest. So the larger pterosaur like Barbary Dactylus can feed on them. The, uh, the pterosaur showing us how different types of them uh, had different ways to survive since they were hatching. Uh, I do like the Alcyon brutes are flying in group to a sanctuary but hunted by Barbary Tactilus. On the ocean, a pregnant Elasmosaurid Tuarangisaurus with her young are facing um, Kai Kai Philo, another Mosasaur, with the help from the young calf and the herd, uh, they can defend the pregnant Tuarangisaurus. While on the reef, uh, Hoofman's Mosasaurus are taking a spa, but also had a brute fight over territory. And on a deep water, the ammonites are creating a beautiful bioluminescence. Mostly, the first episode uh, is about babies and the predator, but it's not fully consisted on its one story. Sometimes it took on T-Rex and then the pterosaurs and then the Elasmosaurus and then back again to pterosaurs and so on. I learned new things and know more species from this episode. Uh, thought it surprising me. Uh, the only dinosaur shown on this episode only the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Remember that the rest are flying and marine reptiles. They aren't dinosaurs and fishes and crustaceans and ammonites also appear. The first episode really got me so well. 
I'm very impressed by the realism of the animate, the natural behaviors of the animals, the storytelling really great. Everything has been prepared so accurate based on the recent studies, so I guess it's really worth to watch this documentary. I am highly recommend this. Um, my favorite part of this episode is the swimming T-Rex. Um, I learned a lot by how T-Rex can be explained no to swim. Um, let me know what you thought on this episode and what's your favorite scene or part of it. I hope you like it, this video and I see you tomorrow for the next review. Alright, I'll see you soon.